Hello account controller, today I'm going to show you how to run the master report. If you're at the FBMS portal, uh, select the user management, then go to backend UAM, select that, and then go down to GOCC UA master, and go down to reporting. Expand that, you will see the, go down and you will see the user master data report right here, select that and it gets you to the back end. Here to run a normal general um, report for the user information, their name, their address, the email address, um, you can just do IA if you want to do all of IA Bureau and select user master data and click execute. If you are looking just for your region, let's say I want just to do the AAOBM as my region or any other region you want, you can type it in at the accounting number, uh, user master data, and click execute. Uh, I'll do that, hence an example, and it will show up the name, the address, uh, and other information. Uh, let's say if you want to know about the roles you would want to click user business role assignment it will pull up every user that's in AAOBM and their roles so when you execute it will come out like this and then you can export that I can show you how to do that later but this is equivalent to the role assignment report that we put up over at EMIS in the past so that is the main one user role assignment let's say if you want to look for your user when the last time the user login you can do a user logon data and then you can execute and this is to show you let's say this user he logs in RP1 is the core financial the last time he logged in was the 16th and for BP the EMIS the last time he logged in was the 5th so this is uh, uh, a report that give you an idea of all your user when the last time they have access FBMS. Now, if you want a copy of your report um, on your desktop, so make sure you select uh, the download under download file and put wherever you want to put the file. To me, I wanted to put it for me, I wanted to put under my desktop. So I always do a double check and then um, select the desktop here and name it, open it, and then once it sets in, I execute it and it will save, give me a copy in my desktop. Also, another way you can do this is when you execute this under just the logon, when you execute this, you can go to edit and then, let me see if this has it, um, actually list, the list, export, and to your spreadsheet or local file. Once you do the export, you can save it and you can open that file later. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you in this backend report is another thing, the new one for GRC 10, they created this GRC request. Let's say you have a user and you wanted to know how many times I put in a request for that user and you know that user SAP ID. So let's say for me, I'm putting my SAP ID in here and then I click execute it will show up my ID and all these GRC request number that happened in the past few months it's gonna be the most recent one starting um, go live for GRC 10 in November to now to the current if you want to run anything in GRC uh, 5.3 you will always have to go back to the old GRC 5.3 here at the bottom of your navigation on your left side. Um, you can search for the old request tickets here, but anything recent, you can still use this. This is a new one that uh, the bio set up for the GRC request. Type in the user SAP ID and do a search on that and it'll give you everything about that user, the request number, and the date that you submitted the request. If you have any other questions, um, you can let this box know. I hope this report uh, is useful for you. Uh, again, thank you and have a great time, and I'll talk to you soon.